Okay, so uh, looks like we're having a, a little trouble being consistent, uh, especially hitting the ball. As a beginner, sometimes we'll, we'll end up missing the ball, which can be obviously very embarrassing. So I want to go through a, a few things that's going to help you to be more consistent and, and build a better golf swing. Now, it's really important uh, for you to start with a smaller swing. I'm going to give you a, a smaller chipping and pitching swing that we can, you'll see later on, can relate to the full swing. So what we're going to do is we're going to break the swing down a little bit and, and work on the consistently consistency of impact. So what I want you to try and do is actually set up with your feet very close together. And to start off with, we're just going to put the right foot just slightly behind the left foot. And when you take the grip, I'd like you to hold it just in the fingers in a baseball style of grip. Have the arms nice and relaxed. And then what we're going to start off doing is just hitting very small shots. So we're going to bring the club up, have the arms just attached, the top of your arms attached to your body, and let the club just drop down. From there, what I'd like you to do is, is keep that feeling of your arms close to your, uh, onto your chest and just rock them backwards and forwards. So we're just going to start off with a very, very small swing. Now, when we do that, we have to brush the grass. We have to get this club low enough to be able to hit the ball. And in order to do that, with this little motion, we can start off with just having your arms here attached to your chest, move your hips backwards and forwards. Now, once we have that action or that feeling going, what I'd like you to understand is that when we come in and hit the ball, we really want to try and have the club on a lean or get the club coming in at an angle so we can actually hit down on the ball. Now, when we hit back behind it uh, or down across it. That's not going to hit it very far, but a lot of the time that's where you're getting your missed shots from. So what I'd like you to do is make it feel like that your head and your body is up over the top of the ball. The weight is onto your left side, okay, so onto your left foot. I want you to have your hips just a little open and the shoulders slightly open. We're going to attach the arms to your chest, okay. But what I'd like you to do is we're going to start with the shaft very straight. Okay? But what you'll notice here is I'm moving the club or the shaft a little forward. Okay? That's the feeling I like you to do when you hit the ball. So we're going to start here and then make a very small swing backwards and forwards. And just start doing that until we can get the feeling of when you come in to hit the ball. Again, our feet are very close together. Right foot's back a little bit, but we're going to open the hips up. Have your arms attached to you. Just drop the club. We're going to make that little motion going backwards and forwards, very small backwards and forwards. But the feeling we're trying to get when we hit the ball is I'd like you to get the feeling that the hands are leading the club. So we're just going to put that there to start off with. We're going to bring it back, move backwards and forwards, and just get that small swing going where you get the feeling of as you come through, the shaft is on a lean, a lean forward. That's going to give you a, a much better angle of attack and hit down on the ball. Now to start off with, that's a little difficult because we like to hit the ball hard and move backwards and, and going through like this. But most of the time that's not going to hit the ball where we want it to go. Now if we, once we have that feeling in there, I'd like you to just work on moving that to a halfway back and through position. So once you do that, we're going to move our feet a little wider. I'd, still, I'd like you to put the ball in the middle of the stance. Your right foot is back a little bit. Get your arms attached to your body. Nice and relaxed. Let them drop down. Now we're just making a slightly bigger pivot backwards and forwards. And what you'll notice is that as we swing back, the club is on a little lean, almost like an L shape. When we come through the other side, the club is on the L shape going here. But I still want you to get the feeling as we come through, we're starting straight down, but as we come through, I want you to really feel like the shaft is leaning forward like that. And then come back, okay, make that small, small action backwards and forwards. So just work on getting that halfway back, halfway through position. Once again, have your feet a little wider now. The right foot is still back. I want you to attach your arms to your chest. Keep them nice and relaxed. We work it back together and forward together. But the angle, you put the club on the ground, have the weight on the front foot, your hands are in front. That's where we want to hit the ball. So that's the feeling I want you to get 
as you swing back and as you come through. All right, so once you practice that, you'll find that your hitting or the impact will be far more consistent. The sound should be different. And that should at least uh, get you going quite well for today.